How do you rotate images in Photoshop? So rotating an image is actually kind of the same as rotating a layer. I have an image here of an iPhone mock-up. And we can see that layer down here in my Layers panel. Now to rotate this, what I need to do is use the Transform Options or the Properties panel. First, in the Properties panel here, if you don't have it open, you can go up to the Window drop-down and go down and find Properties. In this Properties panel, we have a rotation area. We can actually click and drag on the rotation here, and it's going to rotate our object. We can also type in a specific degrees or select from the list. Now, I don't like using this method because I have to kind of guess the rotation. I want to be able to visually move this object. To do that, we need to transform it. So to transform an object, it's called free transform. It's actually in the edit dropdown. You can come down here and find free transform. The shortcut key for that is command T or control T if you're on Windows. We press command T and now we can transform this layer. So like I said, it's not just for images, it's any layer, but an image would be on a layer like this iPhone mockup. So as long as we have that layer selected, then we can transform it and to rotate it, we'll move our cursor just to the outside of a corner and begin to click and drag. And now I can actually see how I'm rotating this iPhone. So originally it was straight, but I wanted it a little bit tilted just to make this thumbnail a little bit more dynamic. So when I rotate that, I can get it to the spot that I want it. I can either click this commit button down here or just press the enter or return key on my keyboard. And that's going to commit the change. So commit the rotation to that object. Now in the properties panel, I do see the rotation here. So if I wanted to make little tweaks to it, I could. But that's how you can quickly rotate objects, just by pressing Command or Control T and then rotating around. Now, one quick thing, if you hold Shift while you do this, it's going to lock that rotation into, I believe, 15 degree increments. Now, if we're starting at negative 7.6 degrees and I click, or I'm holding Shift and I rotate at one of those little snaps, it's going to be negative 22.6, not negative 15. It's going 15 degrees from the starting point. So if I were to take this, and also while you're transforming, you have some properties up here, including rotation. I could take this back to zero. And once it's at zero, I could click and drag, and now it's gonna be 15 degree increments from that zero starting point. So that's how you can rotate images here in Adobe Photoshop. And as soon as you like where you've rotated it, just press that return key, and it transforms that image rotation just like you want it. That's the reason you came to this tutorial, right? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.